Hello. All right, hello. Welcome to this week's podcast, everybody. Hello, Ramo. How you? How you doing? Oh, I'm okay. How you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I went on a very yeah, long hike good. yesterday, so I am still suffering. Yeah, <laughs> I, I heard. That's that's not like you at all to Is wake up not? early and go for like no, not a, not to go for a hike. I don't feel <laughs> not that early at least. Um, I feel like you have to like, and and you said you didn't even have breakfast either. Mm. That's definitely not like you. You need to like. I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen you go without <laughs> breakfast before. You know. Well, I was Ever. like, yeah, I can do it. I get really competitive. So I was like, when they yeah. asked me if I can do the five or should I sh- or do the 10, I was like, do the 10. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, like, to be honest with you, like 10 kilometers sounds like it's a lot and it, and it is at the end of the day, but, um, but sort of when you're taking an easy pace and you're sort of just walking it, it, it is quite a nice walk, um, mm-hmm. You know, and, and it does, time sort of flies um, when you're doing it. Like, we've done a bunch of, a couple of walks, um, bushwalks down here in Sydney in the Blue Mountains and things like that. Oh, yeah. And some of those are quite long. Um, but, yeah, when you're going through it, sort of, you know, time flies, I guess. It's, it's yeah. Oh, yeah, it was good fun. They're quite enjoyable. Yeah. What about you? Was Would it good you... weather as well? Uh, Actually, yes. It was, like, really overcast and, like, windy. Yeah, so it was, like, kind of cold. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. But you don't want it to be too warm either because then it's just... Yeah. You know, well, like, after sort of the walk, <laughs> then the sun came out and then it got really quite okay, warm. Yeah. So it was like, it yeah. just ended up being perfect. <laughs> no, that's it, yeah. Um, My week was pretty chill. I, I didn't really get up to too much. Um, You know, n- nothing too crazy. But um, this Sunday being Valentine's Day for us, um, mm. we're going to go horseback riding. Whoa. Um, me and Emma. Yeah. So, so we're going to go... Back up to Newcastle. We were up in Newcastle a couple of weeks back, um, oh, yeah. and we're going to go back up to Newcastle and um, and do some horseback riding and things like that. And then I think as well, we're going with a with another group of friends. Um, and then I think they mentioned that we're also going to go to you know the Hunter Valley and things like that, and and have a look around there. I think they've got a zoo um, oh, as nice. well, so we might go and check that out. So um, so that's going to be my my sort of activity for the week, I guess. Um, that's other so than cute. sleeping and playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it should be fun. We're, we're hoping he's hoping the weather uh, yeah. holds out a bit. Um, it's been a bit weird up here in Sydney. Like it's been you know grey for half the day, like it was yet, like when you did your your bushwalk, grey for half the day, and then you know sunny in the afternoon or vice versa. It's mm-hmm. it's sort of hard to pick. So I'm well, hoping that the weather holds out. But um, all crossed. in all, it should be fun. Yeah. yeah, sounds like a good weekend. Um, yeah, it is. It, it should be fun. Yeah, I guess we should talk about what's happening this week, hey? Yeah. Well, last uh, week, topics really. for the week. <laughs> We're a bit yeah, behind. I guess. <laughs> on this podcast. You know what? I did. I I did hear. You know what? We should start doing at the end, yeah, at what? the start of every podcast. Welcome, guys, to episode six of Hello the podcast, recorded on Wednesday, the tenth of mm. February, twenty twenty one. We yeah, should we should always, tell I reckon you. we should start giving a date just so we know where we're at, you know, That's because fair. we record on a Wednesday and then it's a, you know, it takes me a day or two to edit it down and then it goes up on Tuesday the next week. So we're, we're technically a week behind whenever these episodes go live. Um, yeah. And like, we're we'll a week behind me. from our news. Cause it's all stuff that has already happened because we can't exactly, yeah. predict the future, you know? <laughs> no, we so. can't, yeah, we can't predict the future. And we um, can't just put up nine different episodes a week with all the news that comes out throughout the everything, week. Everything, so. whenever something happens, we're just like, record, go, and we're, then yeah, upload. Yeah, we're going to get nine <laughs> different ep- podcasts a week, and they're all going to be about seven minutes long just because, of, you know, little bits of news <laughs> here and there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, uh, do you want to start with this week's sort of major uh, news topic? Yeah, sure. So um, this is the only gaming topic we have for this week, but um, CD Projekt Red as you may know, who made Cyberpunk. Have Developer been... Cyberpunk, Witcher, all that jazz. Yeah. They've been uh, hit by a ransom hack on Tuesday. Mm. So that was, what, yesterday for us? Yeah, yesterday for us or, like, a day and or a half. Or maybe a day and a half. Because they're, like, it'd be, yeah, because of time zones and yeah. things like that. Um, but for those that don't know, a ransomware attack is basically, um, you know, they, they their servers what seems like their servers have been uh hacked or attacked by you know some unknown third party mm. um and they're holding they they supposedly took a bunch of um 
you know, information off their servers. Um, they, they state that they have the source code for Cyberpunk Witcher 3 and then an unreleased version of Witcher 3. Um, and then the spin-off card game from the Witcher series, Gwent. They, they supposedly have the source code for all of that. Um, but then they left a ransom note saying, if you don't meet our demands by 48 hours, yeah. we will release this, you know, source code, yada, yada, yada. They didn't go into um, exactly what their demands were because i did read we'll put it up behind us for the youtube watchers but um in the little note that they left i don't remember them having like you know a price or like something they wanted or or anything like that so i'm not sure exactly what it is um but it's yeah it's crazy what a what a crazy way to start off the week i know and what a shock but you know cd project apparently are not gonna give into the demands or negotiate with them no yeah which um sounds alarming to you know the, the public, I suppose, because CD Projekt also own a uh, GOG gaming platform, which have a lot of personal data of players and users, but apparently they think that all the personal data is um, safe and isn't out there. Yeah, they did, they did say that no personal data had been um leaked had been grabbed from their their knowledge you know yeah. they I, I guess they can sort of see what they the third party might have accessed or, or sort of like that yeah, to a certain degree know. um but yeah you know to the best of their ability as well they don't know ex- just exactly what they have they did also state that they had a bunch of like internal files that were like you know from hr or like you know mm. investor reports and those sorts of things so it does seem like they did get some of the business side of things rather than just the you know developmental side of things yeah um which i think is the more worrying part um because like Jen said, that can, you know, that can hold a bunch of personal information and, and, and such on it. So it's, um, it's, yeah, it's a little bit worrying in that sense. I don't think they would stress too much if the source code did get leaked, because I'm not sure what many people would be able to do with the source code other than just reproduce the game, I guess. But yeah, I have no idea. It, yeah. Anyways, I guess we have to watch uh, this you know. unfold within... Yeah, the in, the, in the coming weeks, they, CD Projekt Red. I did see the Twitter, uh, the Twitter post that they made. They did say they've contacted all the appropriate authorities and things right. like that. So they're working directly with, um, you know, their their local authorities and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully they get it under control sooner rather than later. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, a bit Good crazy luck to them. Yeah, we hope nothing too scary comes out of it. Uh, because yeah. you know we want to see CD Projekt Red can you know continue to succeed and. And things like that, because um, mm-hmm. they've made some banging games, so yeah, they can continue. But um, the next sort of random news of the week that I, I didn't even know this was a thing came out of you know left field. Um, but the Borderlands movie, yeah, they're making a <laughs> Borderlands movie apparently, and it gets it gets crazier. Hang on, it gets crazier. Jamie Lee Curtis. With uh, most of you would know, have been like you know in the old um Halloween movies and things like that, and She's more recently in the um the the new yeah the new Halloween movie and Glee and things like that. Um, Jim Lee Curtis has signed on to play in the Borderlands movie along with Kate Blanchett and Kevin Hart. <laughs> like what? I I I don't know. I don't know. What? It it's like it reminds me of Jumanji, you know. That's yeah. sort of like mixed match. But like, but, but Jumanji to so. me, Jumanji to me feels like a bigger property than than what Borderlands is. You know, yeah. Um, like Jumanji is like it's one of my favorite movies, especially the older one. I haven't seen the newer ones because I sort of want to preserve the the <laughs> image of the um, you know, the older one that I used to grow up yeah, with and things yeah, like yeah. that. Um, it, but yeah, this is insane because Borderlands is a very popular game, though. Mm-hmm. You know, having said that, um. I, yeah, I, I just don't know what to make of it. Yeah, it can. Like, it's either gonna be terrible or really good. <laughs> at this that's stage. The, yeah, that's the thing as well. Like I, a couple of weeks ago, like I said, uh, I think in one of the, the episodes, um, like video game movies are so hit and miss. Yeah. Like the only video game movie I did remember saying the only video game movie that I've ever really liked is the Sonic movie. Yeah. Um, but like every other movie has just been critically panned mm. that's based off a video game. So I don't know how they're going to do this one. Um, it does say here that it's directed by Eli Roth. Um, you know who's mostly known for sort of horror genres, I guess. Um, yeah. So I. So I don't know. Very curious. Yeah, I don't know what that. spin. 
you know, because I, you know, I haven't played too many of the Borderlands games as well. They're mm. not sort of my my bread and butter. Um, but I know they're they're usually pretty comedic heavy. Um, so to put like sort of yeah, a, they a are. horror movie, a horror movie director onto it. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Probably gets him out of his comfort zone and stuff like that, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, and Chance, you've been lucky enough as well to work with Two K Games um, and things like that in the past. Um, so are you excited for this in any way? <laughs> uh, look, I I I don't know. I don't know what to feel. Um, yeah, I'm. I just I'll wait till it comes out and I'll see how I feel about it. Yeah, and that, that's the thing as well. This is so early that there's yeah. still there's like there's no release date or anything like that yet. It did the article that we read said that they were expected to start filming shortly in Hungary. Um, but like you know, who knows what expected means and mm. what shortly is? It could be three months. It could be two years. It, we you know we don't know. Um, but yeah, it's you know we'll have to keep our eye on it and see what other <laughs> news comes out because they've already signed three big. Uh, actors and actresses to it yeah so who knows who else can come because i i feel like they're not just gonna make a borderlands movie with three characters in it that seems too small so no you know they'll have to have and we all it also yeah it, it they also said um that they don't know how heavily they're gonna pull from the video games and things like that in terms of like um influence and, and things i guess okay um you know we we don't know if they're sort of continuing on with some of the story that's already been set into those games or if they're just creating something entirely different and just using the sort of universe that that they've created um or, or something like that mm. it's yeah i don't know another, who knows we're um, just gonna keep our eyes on his field yeah and another tv show that popped out of nowhere that i never saw coming was uh mm. the falcon and the winter soldier yeah, this again. I I was expecting all of these Marvel movies to sort of be spread out. Uh, Marvel TV shows sort of be spread out yeah. a little bit, but like we haven't even finished One Division yet. We're only a couple of episodes away from finishing it, and we're also going to have our thoughts about Episode Five later in the podcast again. Yep. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But um, but Falcon Winter Soldier is coming out next month on what was it the twenty oh. something. I feel like the I don't 15th know. or next I don't month know. sometime. Yeah. But it's it, like right around the corner. Um, so we're getting like, you know, WandaVision is starting to get bolts to the walls and then yeah. it's going to finish. And it's then we're going to have about a week and a half, two weeks break. And then we're going to go boom, straight into Falcon yeah. Winter Soldier. Which, like, you know what? I'm not complaining. I am all complaining. for it because I have nothing to watch at the moment. And Same. I'm like, yeah. I, oh, I used to like, after we watched. After Mandalorian was done, we were like, okay, mm, that's our mm-hmm. Disney Plus subscription done. Like, we can cancel it. Yeah, put it on hold for a little bit. But yep. then now WandaVision's out, and then straight yeah. after that, Falcon and Winter. Like, what yep. the heck? Yep. Um, and then um, and then I know later in the year again, I think around May. Mm-hmm. Jennifer March, May. Yeah, I think around May is when they're doing the re-release for um, the Black Widow movie as well. Oh. But we're not sure. I, I don't know if that's going like what... Um, the oh, what was it the wonder woman movie did where it went like it went to cinemas as well right. but it also went straight to hbo max or something like that so yeah. we don't know if um i haven't seen any news at least whether or not it's going to go straight to cinemas and then straight away onto disney plus like and do the premiere thing like they did for the milan movie mm. um they could do something like that who knows but it's yeah so we're getting Marvel's back in full swing, you know. They took I about know. a year or two off, um, but they're yeah, they're coming out of the gates screaming. Yeah, and I'm, with this I'm new stuff. all for it. Like, um, I'm here for it. Yeah. Do you reckon these are leading up to Phase Four, start of the Phase Four yeah. movie film? Uh, I films? feel like. Well, I mean, I know WandaVision is. I'm not sure how much Falcon and Winter Soldier is going to directly impact the new yeah. stuff that they're bringing out i want to say um because there's not really much of a synopsis about it like i did have a couple of notes here i think um so the premise that i'm reading from wikipedia mm-hmm. uh, the premise that i'm reading here it says after being handed the mantle of captain america at the end of avengers endgame spoilers for those that haven't seen endgame i'm sorry <laughs> it's been three years you you've know, had your time <laughs> this is your fault yeah uh, Sam Wilson teams up with Bucky Barnes in a worldwide adventure that puts their abilities to the test as they fight the anti-patriotism group Flag Smashers. Now, I hadn't heard of Flag Smashers until I read that synopsis about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I don't know who um, they are. 
I'm not a fan so of the no name, idea. not going to lie. Yeah, it seems to be, I don't, I, you know, I, it sounds like they're going to use the name in the TV show because they directly have it in the premise, but yeah, you know, I reckon they, they could change it. Uh, but then going to that Wikipedia page for Flag Smashers, I'll read you this little tidbit. Um, the Flag Smasher is the name used by two fictional supervillains appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Um, the original was most often a foe of Captain America, mm-hmm. which, you know, directly, I guess, would impact Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. Uh, while other adversaries of the Flag Smasher include Punisher, Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, The Runaways, Libertines, and Deadpool. Uh, and then it just says a group called the Flag Smashers will appear in the upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus show. Uh, we don't know, again, how much they're going to take from the comics other than just the name, and I guess the fact that they're sort of a Captain America uh, foe. Um, but, like, you know, when I when I read that and I told Jens that they're also making a Moon Knight show on Disney Plus coming out at some point in the near future... Mm-hmm. It leads me to believe that they might try and sneak some little things about Moon Knight. Maybe. Into this, I, I mean, want to say that kind of makes know. sense. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Um, I'd be extremely surprised if Deadpool manages to show up. I feel like this would be uh, a I'd very it, weird though. time for him to rock up. I, I would love it, but love I feel Deadpool. like it wouldn't sort of suit the vibe of the the show that they're going for. From what I'm getting, I mean, to be um, fair, we don't know anything about this show Mo- yeah we also, i don't know anything we also really didn't watch the trailer because i uh, this the podcast has been really hard because like especially for wandavision where we're speculating what's yeah. going to happen because i don't like thinking about stuff <laughs> just in general but also yeah, I, stuff that i'm watching because i just i don't want to speculate and then spoil it for myself for then when it actually is correct then i'm like oh yeah um, but well, that that sort of gives me that that leads me into some of the things that I want to talk about for the WandaVision episode. But I'll get into that a little yeah, okay. bit later. Um, but yeah, like I haven't watched the just uh, Super Bowl weekend was just recently. It was like yesterday, I think. Sorry, no, Monday Sunday for us. For the Super Bowl was on Monday, Sunday for American audiences. Um, but yeah, so all the Super Bowl ads and and promo spots came out for that, and Marvel released a bunch of them. So we got a new promo spot for Falcon and Winter Soldier. We got a new promo spot for um the Loki TV show. We got a new promo spot oh. for I think um one other one other show that I'm blanking on right ah. now, and it's gonna bug me, Jens. It's really yeah. We got Someone three promo spots. Who's I know of. Yell it to Ramo. Yeah. On the socials. Phone in. Phone in, please. <laughs> um, phone number. <laughs> nah, <wait. laughs> Yeah, uh, we've got three of them. I haven't watched any of them because I like going into these things blind now. Um, you know, I, I used to be a person that would watch trailers all the time and I'd like, you know, dig into them and I'd like, you know, get every little tidbit of information I could out. It's too but, dangerous. Um, but now I, yeah, now I don't like it because I feel like some of the, the trailers they bring out these days just have way too much information in them I uh, find for Marvel what I want. So is better at that than most. Marvel yeah, and yeah. Star Wars. They're like, yeah. they usually just tease, I have, but they never I have show. noticed, yeah, they, they give you enough to keep you interested, but then I also realize that they do put a lot of deleted scenes or yes. things like so that. Things or that or they, they make that scenes, yeah, they're, they're directly just, they're just for the trailer, it feels like. Mm. Um, and, I, and Marvel do that a lot, um, which is good because then, it, you know, it does get you to watch the trailer and things like that. Um, Could it but be? I still sort of steer clear. Could it Just be, be misleading sure. at all? Because you know when you... I don't know, I don't know if you've done this, but like... Are you say, Jens, are you saying you want to do a class action lawsuit against Marvel <laughs> for misleading you for the last 10 years of all I the mean, trailers? Is that what you're saying? If I can get $10 million, million then sure. No, no, no. no. Class action <laughs> lawsuits, you'd be lucky to get about $9. Oh, I God think. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how many people join. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. No. Uh, nonetheless, I'm excited for Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. I can't wait for it to come out yeah. um you know same with all the other marvel shows and things that are coming it's 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 gonna be a hoot you you know? you. Say that. and speaking of marvel um, we're gonna talk about one division now yeah so uh double marvel if anyone is late for episode five how yeah. could you um how could you? we'll see you next week thanks for listening let me uh, you know what if you haven't watched it yet i'll just leave you with this little information just preemptively take your socks off before you start the episode because the episode is just going to knock them off anyways <laughs> you may as well just take them off now and just you know be done with it save that save the show a little bit of work <laughs> but yeah we'll get into the spoiler talk now so if you haven't watched it thank you guys for tuning in this week um we'll see you next week and things like that yeah enjoy uh but if you have watched it 
Absolutely. Congratulations. You've made it to the secret portion. Oh, hey, of hey. The well, she's special. Um, yeah, well. <laughs> um, All right. Hence, now, I, I know what I thought of this. I know what I thought about this. But what do you think about this episode? Um, holy shit. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's exactly what I was thinking. So, great. We're on the same page. And it's like from the start. Usually, yeah, usually the holy the shitness as, happens like yeah. towards the end as like a little cliffhanger. It's the same as uh as last episode. Last episode was sort of balls to the walls from the start. Yeah. Whereas yeah, the per- the but previous three episodes were a little bit. But this is even more balls you know, to the walls, like straight oh, in. Man, yeah. All right. We got some juice this episode. <laughs> um. So I guess I'll just read off the basic sort of synopsis that happened, just so we're all caught back up about you know all the happenings and goings in mm-hmm. uh in Westview and things. Um, so the app starts with Wanda and Vision trying to calm down their two newborn uh, twins. Um, at this time, they're like newborn. So like, you know, yep. a week or two old or something like that. Uh, Wanda attempts to use her powers to calm them down as like a last resort because just everything they try doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Um, but her powers don't seem to affect her children in any way. Like yes. they just continue to cry through it and all this sort of stuff. Um, at that moment, Agnes, uh, Agnes, sorry, Agnes, Agnes bursts in and uh, she's dressed in tights and, you know, ready to jazzercise and all this sort of stuff. Um, Vision says he's nervous about Agnes taking care of the babies just because of the implication of uh, maybe Agnes, you know, finding out that they're not human or that they have powers or, or something right. like that. Um, uh, but when Vision says he's nervous about Agnes, Agnes suddenly looks confused and, and stammers a bit before directly asking Wanda, uh, you know, do you want me to take that again? Implying, you know, do you want me to retry that line? Do you want me to, yeah. you know, start from the top? That sort of thing. So it seemed like she was acting, you know, a scene yeah. out. Um, and she, she, which is the she first basically crazy part. broke character as well because she's usually really, like, upbeat and, like, she talks yeah, really high. Yeah, very bubbly. Yeah. Um, but then when she says that line, it's like she was out of character. She's very she's, stoic. She's yeah. very, yeah. Um, and that was the first sort of part of the episode where everyone's like, oh, my God. Like, hey, whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. Like, that was mm. where one one sock came off for me. One sock was knocked <laughs> off, you know. Um, I was still wearing one sock, but one sock was knocked off. Oh, man. Like it then, it then cuts to Monica in a hospital bed. So Monica, last episode, she managed to... Um, she was thrown out of they call it the hex in this episode as well so the the sort of force field that is covering westview um and disguising it from everyone uh has been given the name the hex um and monica was thrown out of the hex last episode and it it cuts to her this episode she's in a hospital bed under the sword tents and Mm -hmm. and such um basically just being monitored to make sure that she's not still under the control of wanda or you know any of the happenings going that happened in in westview um, sort of, you know, a couple of things happen over there. They sort of figure out what was going on, yada, 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 yada. Also, just um, before we you then move find on from out, that. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, when they were doing tests on Monica, nothing came up. Like, yeah, they did nothing. a brain scan or something. Like, there was no, there was, like, no results. Yeah, like, they, they, they got the scans back, basically, and said they, they can't even see, yeah, they can't see anything. Like, nothing was appearing on x-rays, nothing was appearing on, you know, any of the things they did, which was, you know, a bit creepy. Um, yes. So it, it does seem like she, it does seem like Wanda is still sort of affecting people, even when they leave Westview a little bit, um, mm. which is quite concerning, obviously, you know, because um, it just goes to show the scope of how much power she has yeah. over, over all the people that are affected by it. Um, so yeah, anyways, move on. But then, uh, yeah, then it sort of cuts again to um, a little like briefing session that they have under the sword tents um and the director of sword uh basically just showcases that wanda uh stole vision's dead body from sword um Mm -hmm. you know we don't know how long ago you know x amount of time ago um as they were doing tests on it and and things uh and somehow brought him back to life and i'm going to say life in quotations because we're still not sure if this is just like um a ploy to sort of make him look like he's alive or whether or not she actually did bring him back to life or whether or not it's something completely different. And this is going into another speculation thing, the speculation that Mephisto is going to show up at some point, which is like, um, a big 
part of Wanda's character. He's like one of the big bads that Wanda directly sort of, you know, has a thing with. Um, we're not sure whether or not he is controlling uh, Vision and whether or not he's alive or dead or somewhere in the middle. All that sort of jazz. Um, and then, you know, it goes through a couple of other things. They send in a drone to make sure... Uh, they, they figure out that um, if you send something in that's from the time period that the TV show is in, that yeah. Wanda is creating in her own reality, if you send something in... So let's say Wanda is sitting... It, at this episode, she's set in the 80s, I think it was. Uh, if you send something in that is from the time period of the 80s, it will not change. Because it doesn't need to. In any way. Because it doesn't need to. So if you go in wearing 2021 clothes, it will change to 1980 clothes. If you're going wearing 1980 clothes, it won't change because they're from the same era. So they figure this out and they send in uh, a drone from uh, the 1980s. It was built during yeah. the 1980s. What we don't know until it comes back out is that it was a Stark Industries drone. Um, and for those that don't know... Wanda and her character sort of have a real bad vibe with anything Stark Industries mm -hmm. um, because of her past. Um, so her and Pietro, when they were back in uh, their home country, uh, they were attacked by a bunch of, you know, Stark yeah. Industry weapons and, and things. Um, and so she has a real bad vibe about all these things. And when she finds out that they're sending in Stark Industries tech, she flips mm -hmm. and she actually breaches the hex and comes out and talks directly to all of the sword agents and, you know, uh, and just lets them know, well, back off, otherwise, them. yeah, you know, back off, otherwise this is going to do a whole nother level. Yeah. Um, and it goes back into Westview, you know, things seem fine. Uh, and then Wanda and Vision have a fight, uh, or, or an argument, I guess, not a fight. Uh, they have an argument because Vision starts to figure out that Wanda is controlling a bunch of people and yeah. even him, um, and this is where the other sock, the, the, you know, the the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the the tip of my sock was sort of shaking <laughs> at this point. It was like, ooh, hang on a minute, you know, <laughs> something's gonna something's gonna happen. Uh, it looks like they're about to like get into a fist fight. Basically, yeah. they both start, you know, activating their powers. They both start floating in their house. Um, you know, it, it's a really it hits the apex of this argument, and then you hear the doorbell ring, and everything sort of calms down. And Wanda's like, oh, hang on, who could that be? And it's like at this time in the show, it's like you know, seven or eight o'clock. So when you get a knock at the door at like eight o'clock at night, you're like, yeah, it's not good. This? Um, she sort of like, you know, goes and walks towards the door, opens the door. We look at Wanda's face and just like disbelief on Wanda's face. She's like, who, how is this possible? I thought the they were going to cut here. Back. I thought they were going to cut here too. I was going to be I so gonna cut. mad. Like Terrace I house. I thought they were going to cut. When they pulled back the camera and you could just see the back of yeah, yeah, yeah. X person's head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you when you pull back, I thought that's when they're going to cut. And I was like, please, no, please. Uh, luckily, they don't. You pull back the camera, you see some silver hair, mm -hmm. and then it flips. And you see Quicksilver. But it's not the Quicksilver that the Marvel fans from the MCU know. It's Evan Peters, who is the Quicksilver from the Fox and, and the X-Men franchise. Yep. And then my other sock is gone. Other sock's gone. It's out the door, <laughs> you know? Off me. All right. I have a lot to digest here. God damn. I know a lot of people God were damn. freaking about this episode because of that moment, I think. With up blew up. Yeah. Blew up. Oh my god! Like j the amount of people that I was following that were just tweeting about <laughs> the new episode of One Division was insane. Yeah. Um, because it, honestly, like it, yeah, it was just insane. The the amount of power that they have now to sort of just merge all of these, mm. you know, characters and all of these series together, is just insane. Like I knew that they already had acquired the rights to Fox. And, mm -hmm. you know, all of their characters and X-Men and things like that. And I thought they were going to make, you know, maybe wait two or three years before they start sort of funneling them Emerging, into yeah. the MCU and stuff like that. Because so I was like, well, they probably already have the next two years planned out ahead of time, you know, just as a, as a rough guide thing as they're going along. So it might take them a little bit to sort of to shoehorn them in. Mm -hmm. But they wasted no time. Yeah. 
like and it was kind of perfect it, it, what's it yeah it, it oh my god but yeah yeah it's, i don't you know, know what this means insane. for the next episode yeah but again having said that we're not sure whether or not it is actually evan peters's quicksilver we're, we're not sure if it's just you know uh wanda sort of messing with herself uh they did you know, say or something like that we're not sure if it's mephisto messing with wanda yeah. we're not you know we don't know if it actually is confirmed that he is an x-men and a mutant in mm -hmm. the mcu or whether or not it's just a trick that they're all playing on themselves um we'll have to wait and see but yeah what are you gonna say jen sorry uh i i don't know i don't know anymore i'm just blown away <laughs> yeah um, but it's um, it's yeah. No, but do you think she's being insane. controlled? Because at that moment where the the knock on the door happened, Vision was like, yeah. "Who did you bring? Like, you're doing this. Who yeah. did you bring to the situation to like, yeah, um, to make it better?" And it's like, I didn't, yeah. I didn't do this. So see, I reckon I I did see a thing in the sort of in the past. Mephisto can take on sort of the um the look of of you know another person or he can like you know uh control someone else's mind i guess okay. um you know make them do his bidding and stuff like that so i reckon at the moment i reckon quicksilver is mephisto's sort of you know um if he is in the show at least we still don't know um if he is in the show i reckon it's you know a figment of his sort of doing and things like that i don't reckon so it actually is okay. just yet Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I think, um, I think he's under some sort of, you know, power or influence or, or something like that. Yeah. Um, Cause I didn't actually yeah, know, know the bad guy in with Wanda. Like I didn't know about. Well, yeah, well th that's it. No one really knows. There hasn't been a villain that, um, that has like directly shown themselves yet. Like for all we know. Wanda is her own villain at the yeah. moment, which is what which is what they're sort of bringing it up to be. I guess they're sort of like, yeah, Wanda is doing this to herself just because she's mentally unstable. They haven't said, oh, it's this person that's causing it. It's you know, yada 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 yeah, yada. Yeah, that's the um, first time they've hinted it. Yeah, but having said that as well, I reckon because in the episode, um, the the sword director, I'm blanking on his name now, but the sword director. He was a real bitch, you know? Um, <laughs> He's so a bit I mean. feel like, yeah, I, I feel like he is going to be the embodiment of Mephisto. <gasps> I have a feeling. Oh. That, that's, that's my theory. Or, you that know, not the embodiment, sense, I guess, or cause... just, like, under the influence. But, yeah, he just seems like the sort of person that's very, uh, you know, he, he would fit the vibe of a and villain, he, I guess, because he's like... just so really mean like really yeah he's been making wanda he's been, look uh, like a terrorist yeah, almost. he's been after wanda for like the past two episodes now he really wants her you know sort of under control or, or yeah. locked up or, or something like that um so that's what leads me to believe that he is the big bad and will reveal himself in the coming you know coming mm, episodes that's interesting um, but yeah I get it just this episode just it opens up so many possibilities for the future of the MCU. It's yeah. insane. Like uh, ridiculous, you know. Um we were talking about it in one of our discords, we're not sure who the big bad for the phase is going to be because obviously the big bad for last phase, phase was Thanos. Yeah. Um but Thanos is gone now. So but having merged the Fox properties and things like that into the mcu now they now open up to using dr doom they can use galactus mm. they can use the silver surfer um they can probably use well they could have used him before i guess but you know king of the conqueror is is another one that they could use so there's so much possibility that is just oh you know <laughs> man I, I yeah i can't wait I can't wait. Yeah, I just, I want I want the next episode now, yeah. and I want the episode after that immediately after. That, you know, <laughs> well, can they do another double the episode, episode, please? That's fine. <sighs> Ugh. It's too long. It's I too know. Long. I hate waiting. I need it now. <laughs> but it's actually kind of nice waiting because then no one can really kind of spoil it. Yeah, you? I. You know, everyone everyone was sort of pissed at Disney when they announced when they were bringing out Disney Plus that no, they're not going to do what Netflix does and dump a whole season on you at once. They're going to do it week by week, and I was sort of in the boat like, 
I just want to watch it all at once. But now I do really, I sort of miss watching, like it takes me back to being as a kid and watching yes. uh, like a TV show on TV. And like you do, you have to be in front you of the TV at 7.30 yeah. every night. You have to be there. Otherwise you're going to miss it. Um, yep. You know, it, it brings back to that, which I do enjoy. And, you know, it, it, it lets us do this where we can each week sort of just delve into everything that happens and sort of discuss it and, you know, all that jazz. Uh, and then, you know, just get more and more excited for the next episode, mm. the next week. It's, yeah, it's fun. It's going to be so good. Man, yeah. But I, uh, I guess that's, that's all our topics for this week, yeah. uh, a bit of a shorter episode. Um, is there anything else you want to mention before we sign off for the, the, uh, the episode? Not really, except that hopefully you guys are still enjoying these. And mm. yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> pretty much it. Um, make sure to check out the YouTube and stuff like that. We'll have some gameplays coming up. We do have um, e. a gameplay recorded uh, of a game called, what was it again? Happy oh, Handy I, Harry's I Hippo it. Services. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. Sub to the YouTube. Follow the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it'll be up there some point soon, we hope. Um, and there's another couple of gameplays coming out in the near future as well, so yeah. keep your eyes and ears peeled there. Um, I guess, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode again. Uh, I hope, we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you again next week. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>